Hello, audiophiles of the internet, and welcome back to Audio 46, your headphone destination. I'm Franco, and we have another review for you today. We will be taking a look at the Shure Aonic 3 earbuds featuring sound isolating technology. So without any further ado, we're going to jump right in. Let's talk headphones. All right, as always, the first thing we're going to take a look at here is the box. This box here is of the classic Shurionic variety with the same handle on the top, the same circular shape, and a nice green and black color palette this time around. The front has this great reflective swirl detail, which you can see here. I'm a big fan of that. It's just a lot of fun. When you pop open the box, you have your handy user manual with information about the fit, the parts, the connections, etc. Underneath, you can see the earbuds themselves already connected to the detachable cable via a MMCX connection. That is micro miniature coaxial. You also have the small round zipper case that opens up and has your different ear adapters inside. This includes three different size of soft flex ear adapters, three different size foam adapters, one pair of yellow foam adapters, and one pair of triple flange adapters. Lastly, there is an attachable quarter inch connection. The housing is a black plastic and takes on what Shure is calling a low profile shape that makes this the smallest earphone available in the Aonic line. The nozzle extends out here at a slight angle to create an ergonomic fit. Fit is a really big deal here, and Shure has gone through a lot of trouble to ensure a maximum variety of different ways you can get this just right. I mentioned all the different ear tips these come with, and this is because these are designed to provide up to 37 dB of sound isolation depending on the tight seal. I have to say that the design in this aspect is pretty successful, as when these are in snugly and the fit is just right, it really does do a pretty outstanding job of blocking out all outside interference and distraction. It's obviously not going to be as beefy as the active noise cancellation of the over-ear Aonic 50, but this is very suitable, especially at the price point that these are coming in at. The only caveat I have in regards to this is that I found the process of achieving that perfect fit to actually be fairly difficult. Just below the housing, on the top of the cable around where the connections are, there is a flex wire segment that is supposed to bend around the ear so the cable can tuck behind and not get in the way. I found this all to be a little clunky for some reason, and I think it had to do probably with the shape of the housing and the nozzle, which combined to make it kind of difficult for me to get it in my ear and get the seal, uh, all while making sure it was comfortable. I did experiment with all the different ear tips for a long time, and I found that the medium size of the foam tip or even the uh, soft flex tip were ultimately the ones that were right for me, but it took a lot of trial and error to get there, including a significant amount of wrestling with the flex wire at the top that goes around the ears. I think it's possible that the shape of these just don't suit my particular ears especially well, which may be the case for you or may not, just something that you probably want to consider here. These may require some time to find that fit. One thing to add here is that despite the nozzle lacking a lip, it was very easy to change out the various earpieces with a twist on, twist off motion. So it at least will be easy to cycle through all the different ear tips when you're trying them out, which you probably will have to do. Apart from these factors I just mentioned, otherwise the build of the Ionic 3 is that of your standard wired earphone. The cable features this plastic portion you can adjust to keep your excess out of the way, and the MMCX cable connection also supports a nice three button control panel to pause and play your music or adjust the volume. Considering Shure's history in building microphones, it should also come as no surprise that the one built in here is good quality and the call quality overall is solid. Under the hood, each of these earpieces comes with a single balanced armature driver that sits in a protective frame within the housing. It's a little curious that these come with an additional quarter inch extension considering they have a low resistance of just 28 ohms and are incredibly easy to power through a computer or a phone, but this addition will be sure to keep faithful amp users happy as they have the option. You can also easily convert these to true wireless earbuds by connecting them to the separately available Available secure fit wireless adapter or any other MMCX cable accessories, which is really nice for customization. So this is a big plus here. Okay, now on to the sound quality. First, we're going to get into sound stage. In line with Shure's history and philosophy as a studio and live setting focused company, these Aonic 3s offer a fairly decent stage and a nice amount of imaging. To my ears, the stage definitely succeeds more laterally than it does so in depth. Tracks are not going to sound huge and expansive on here, but there is a sense of width and separation in the parts that offers a really nice amount of clarity. The imaging also feels specific and precise, with different elements sitting exactly where they should in the mix and feeling a nice amount of isolation in their space. For those listening to large orchestral works or any other kind of large polyphonic mix, this is going to be really great for hearing all the different parts and picking out the interplay between them. Onto the actual sound quality, you're going to see a response in the low end here that is a lot different than other earbuds are seeking to produce. The bass frequencies here are very neutral, almost aggressively so. It's not an issue of being weak or lacking because there's certainly a good amount of body in the right tracks that are looking to produce this, I'm thinking hip hop here. But the quality of the tonality is very clean, very even, and not a lot of sweetening, if any, at all. 
I would say that timbre and tonality here are definitely prioritized over lift and heft. The mid-range frequencies, on the other hand, are what I can confidently say is the biggest strength of the Sonic profile here. All frequencies are presented here with a balance that provides a great mix of clarity of detail with richness and lushness of texture. Instrumental elements like guitars, keys, synths, and vocals layer over one another wonderfully without losing the individual quality of their resonance and their overtones. I took a listen to a song called Astronauta by Jeremy Bosch, which is a quiet acoustic guitar ballad with layered vocal harmonies, and the warmth and lushness of this track was really accentuated by this headphones in a unique way that I have not seen with many others. The top end performs similarly well, but some of these elements that I said were really great in the mid-range do tend to taper off as you get into the higher frequencies. With a range that goes up to roughly 18 kilohertz, which is slightly lower than the standard range most earbuds will claim to support, there's not a ton of extension when you get into the higher registers. The range is still pretty full, but your higher frequency parts are not going to all achieve the same amount of brightness that you might get in something else that's a little more top end focused. You will absolutely get good reproduction and accuracy here, but not necessarily the sparkly shimmer that other headphones are colored with at the top end. Ultimately, for those of you out there who are looking for a clean, balanced, and transparent sounding earbud, the Aonic 3 should definitely be on your short list. If you're not seeking this out, then you may find it a bit flat, a bit dry, um, especially if you're used to more sweetened sound signatures that offer a bit more thrill to the listening experience. These are gonna be great for those who want a more clean or sterile sound profile. These will work really, really well for monitoring or anything like that, uh, which should be no surprise given the brand that we are talking about here. These may not be for you if you don't wanna spend time getting the right fit, especially if your ears just apparently are the wrong shape like mine were, if you want some more technical bells and whistles beyond the three button control panel, or if you just prefer a more exciting and colored sound signature. So what do you guys think of these? Did they fit you right out of the box? Did it also take a little while to get the fit? Do you like the sterile nature of the sound signature? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you never miss another one of our videos. For more information on this or any other headphone that we carry, make sure to check out our website, audio46.com, so that you can see our blogs and other reviews. And if you have the opportunity, do not hesitate to come into our brick and mortar store on 46th Street in New York City to try these headphones out for yourself. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Franco with Audio 46, your headphone destination, and I'll see you soon.